Hello, this is my tutorial on how to play the e-reader games for Pikmin 2 on PC. So the things that you're going to need to download is MGBA, uh, I have version 10.1 here, uh, Dolphin, which I personally recommend going with a beta build because these are, you know, pretty decent. Uh, I would not recommend using like the stable versions, this was updated six years ago because Dolphin version 6 hasn't come out. So yeah, uh, just download like one of the beta versions. Um, you want to download the e-reader no intro ROM set from like Internet Archive uh, because that will give you every single e-reader cards. That will give you every single e-reader card and you want to sort them all out. As you can see here, they all come in zip files, but since I used um, WinRAR, I just had them extract all into one folder. So yeah, this is every single e-reader card for Pikmin 2. So yeah, just sort the sort through those real quick. And you want to download a Japanese copy of Pikmin 2 and the Japanese e-reader card uh, ROM for GBA. Uh, I personally recommend getting e-reader plus. Don't get the original Japanese e-reader. Get the Japanese e-reader plus because this has more features anyway so now let's let's get it all set up now now I can already hear you commenting hey doesn't dolphin come with you know integrated GBA support for like the e-reader stuff and yeah it does but the thing about it is like you can't mute the GameCube audio while keeping the GBA audio which is an issue for someone like me who doesn't want to listen to the Pikmin bonus theme forever while playing these games. So yeah, um, in Dolphin, select GBA TCP and of course get Dolphin all set up for you. Uh, if you don't already have Dolphin, you know, get it, it's fun. Anyways, but yeah, for port 2, you want to select GBA TCP. Now, if you did this right... When you try to boot up Pikmin 2 Japanese, it should come up with a little firewall thing. Um, click check and then allow it because our next step is going to have to rely on internet for MGBA. So on MGBA, select file, load ROM, and load the e-reader plus ROM. And just... When on this screen... Go to the second one and go to the first one. That will should that should take you to the hey connect your e-reader to the GameCube screen. Now what you want to do is go over to Dolphin and go to Pikmin 2. Uh, I'm going to do this so I can go into not full screen. There we go. And in Pikmin 2. You want to go down to your sound and right click and open up the volume mixer and um, shut off Dolphin's sound because, again, you don't want to listen to the annoying bonus music while playing these. But now, officially in Pikmin 2, op start the game and select the bottom option, which is the bonus content, and go down to this E plus thing. Click that, and this is all your e-reader stuff. Now, what you want to do is go back to MGBA and select File, Connect to Dolphin. Now, if you did all this right, you, you should just have to click Connect. And as you can see, no error, which means it is now connected to Dolphin, and we can now, you know, get this all set up to be able to play these. Now, click A. And select which one you want to do. I'm going to do Plucking Pikmin. And it should do this if you did it right. Yeah. Yep. So now you should be on this screen. What you want to do now is go to um, File and Scan E-Reader Dot Codes. And go to your e-reader, e-reader stuff. Now, 
Now, here's the thing to note. Some of these do the same as other cards. So, like, I think for um, C, for the C cards, um, C1 and C2 do the exact same thing. So, yeah, that's a thing you might want to be aware of, that some of them might just do the same thing. But anyway, now you want to select, like, A1, since I chose Plucking Pikmin. And now you want to click A on your GBA emulator to go to the in slide a card screen, and it should automatically slide the, slide the card. Now, if you want to do a different card, hit B, and then go and select a different one, and then hit A. And there you go. And now you can enjoy this. Enjoy your GBA uh, Pikmin. But yeah, that's how, that's how you do it. That's how you play the Pikmin e-reader games. Now, this is to continue. This is to restart. And this is the exit to the main menu. Now, if you want to play a different set of games, you would have to go all the way back and select GameCube again. And then on the Dolphin emulator, you want to select, like, which Pikmin one you want to do, like this one. And, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much everything you need to know to getting started with playing the... Japanese Pikmin 2 e-reader e card things. I don't know. I don't know what these things are called. But yeah. Now, now you're able to play these too. Uh, have fun.